Hello, welcome to Skill Bell Tutorials. This is Arun here with Liferay 6.2 Development Tutorials, session number 15. In the previous session, we have seen how to use Service Builder to create tables in uh, Liferay database and also we have saved some data using the Service Builder code. Now, we have to retrieve the data which we have saved into the DB already. So that is what we are going to do in this session. So for retrieving data from your database, you have to use the same local service util uh, to uh, local service util of your model class. So here our model class is names and we are going to uh, use this in the same view.jsp and we are going to uh, list down what are all the data which is available in the database. Okay, so here I have my uh, view.jsp code which will which will show you yeah which is actually having uh, a script a scriptlet block uh, which is a jsp scriptlet block here i can write the java code and i will use names local service util dot get names us so this is what the method this is completely auto generated method and here you have to give a start and end so i'm just going to select uh, 10 rows 10 data which is saved in the uh, database so that that is actually the first 10 records will be returned from the database when i write like this and it will be a list of names objects. So I'll mouse over and copy this list of names and I have to give name list. So this is what I have to import. I have to import uh, the java util dot list and I have to import the names as well. So in your uh, JSP um, uh, import section you can see the uh, names local service util and your util list java util list and the model names have got imported so now what i can do i can iterate over the names if the names is not null i will be able to iterate I'll be able to print the uh, name list uh, I, I'll be able to print the name list data so what I'm going to do I'm just checking whether the uh, whether the list is empty or empty or not so now I, I'll get if the name list is not empty uh, and um, I have to cross check with name list not equal to null. <coughs> okay. Once this is done, um, I, I I can I can understand that there is some data available in the name list. Just put name list, and I'm going to use an enhanced for loop names name. So each name I'm going to uh, get um, to my for loop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out dot print. So the name name object has a get name method that get name I'll use and the names will be printed to the browser so i'm just going to add a br tag as well to get this names listed in line breaks so what what i have uh, done so far is i have imported the uh, imported the required 
class files it got um, uh, it, it got imported automatically i didn't manually imported that and i used uh, this names local service util dot get names and i passed the 10 uh, count the count 0 to 10 i have to retrieve that is what i have done I, and i know my database doesn't contain 10 records but even though i gave it to give 10 to fetch all the data and now we can deploy this code just deploy this okay the build got successful okay deployment is starting okay now the deployment has completed now i need to sign in test and the password okay there is some exception occurred i need to verify what is exactly broken my code it has got some issues with the JSP I believe the view.jsp okay oh, there is an import happen the collection utils import Okay, imported or dot Apache tools and util collection utils. Okay, let me just pause and resolve this issue. Okay, I have found in my code there is uh, some collection utils has uh, imported when I was the previous pause. Um, just deleting that and saving this. Redeploy the portlet. I believe this could be the issue deploy it okay the portal is available for you so you load the page okay now the issues got resolved because i uh, imported a um, class file but didn't mention the packages or the build paths so that that got uh, that gave me an issue so now you can see uh, there is uh, no names no data got printed to the browser so there is there is nothing printed so now let let me just try with let me just try with uh, printing the name list out dot print name list dot size so this will give me um, something is returned by the name list then i can uh, I, I need to verify whether my code has some issues i'm just doing that let me just deploy Okay, the deployment got started. Okay. 
all right i can see there is a number 3 has printed but somehow my if code is oh i did i did a mistake i i did like nameless dot is empty so it should not be empty that's what i have to add a not symbol here i have to add an exclamation symbol here so if it is not empty this code has to run the problem was i missed this oops okay now let me deploy it again it should work this time Okay, the portlet is not deployed. Okay, now it's done. Reloading the page. You can see Spot Bay, which is available in my database, Spot Bay, and came with Neonic Software Solutions and Skill Bell Tutorials. So, all these things came into uh, your browser. And now, again, I am going to give another uh, name, Arun. I submitted that and it also printed here so uh, so with this code with this simple code uh, life allows you to take uh, the data which is entered in the database you can just use the names local service util dot get names and uh, if you don't want to have this value hard coded for that also life allows you a count method you can use that names local service util dot get names count so this will give you the total number of names so you can use that names count uh, for fetching the entire data from your name uh, from your uh, database so if you run this code also it will work perfect as as previously shown just deploying this code okay the deployment is getting done now okay the portlet is available for use now click on welcome you can see the data has been came back so uh, again i'm adding a test and test 2 test 3 so you can add a number of data like this and you can fetch it back using the service builder code service builder generated code and that's it for the session and in next session we will see some uh, search options like uh, finding uh, there is finders available with uh, service uh, service builders and that finders i'll be teaching in the next session thank you for watching skill bell tutorials keep supporting us keep watching us leave your comments below thank you